determine the following, determine if the following formula defines a probability distribution. Um, and here we're given a probability function. This is a function P of X uh, equaling X plus uh, 0 0.01. Uh, and the probability distribution is one that, um, or the, the distribution uh, is one where the X is equal to 0 0.47, 0 0.07, and 0.36. And uh, you can do this on the calculator pretty nicely, actually. I'll go through and do this because it, it's not going to take uh, that long. I'm going to go to stat, enter, and here we have our... Um, here we have our um, screen uh, of the various lists. And the list that I'm going to put in first is the list of the events. X is the event, and P of X is the probability of the event. So I'm going to look at the events, uh, 0 0.47, 0 0.07, and 0.36. And all I'm going to do is put those right in the calculator, 0.47. That's one event. And then the next event is 0.07. And then the next event is 0.36. So there we have the events. And then in the next column, I want to list the probability of these events. Now, I could just add that number plus 0.01 to each one of these events and get the probability of the event. But uh, I'm kind of lazy at, ha at heart, so I'm going to let the calculator do it by going up to the um, to the heading, put the cursor on the heading for list two, and when you do that, the uh, field that you see here is is a um, is a formula bar. In other words, I can formulate this list. And what I want to basically have list to be formulated as, uh, well, it says here, the, the event, now the events are in list one. So I'll say here, I want this to be list one. That's the event, list one, plus 0 0.01. So plus 0 0.01. So... Here are the events with the cursor on the uh, title for list two. I can formulate list two, saying teach, take each one of these numbers and add 0.01 to it, and press enter. And here are the probabilities of those events using this probability function. Now, of course, it would have been easy just to add 0.01 to each of these, but Going through how you do something on the calculator sometimes can be very, um, very instructive because bigger problems with more entries would be done in the same way, and it, the calculator does it very quickly for you. For this to be a probability distribution, because it says, is it determined if it is? Uh, the sum of these probabilities has to equal 1. Now, I could just add these up, and that would be fine. Uh, but uh, what I'm going to do then is instead have the calculator sum these numbers. And the way that's done, again, is under the List button. So I'll go to Second Function List, and then I'll go to the Math menu and select number 5, the sum. So I'll put 5. And what I want is the sum of the numbers in List 2, so I'll put in L2 and press enter, and here we have the sum of the probabilities of the numbers that you see in list two. And that sum is not equal to one. It has to be equal to one for this to be a probability distribution. So therefore, this is not a probability distribution. And there we go.